If you use Selenium for browser automation, for web scraping, anything like that, you probably love it. It's a great piece of software, but there's a one thing that is so, so painful and it's called updating Chrome, updating Firefox, updating Safari, and then Selenium just doesn't work anymore. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make sure that never, ever, ever happens again. So let's start off by showing you what the problem is. I run all my imports here, I'm pulling in Selenium, and then I say, hey Selenium, let's open up a brand new Chrome. I run it, it starts to work, and then it freaks out. It says, no, session not created exception. It's not gonna, it's not gonna start this new Chrome session for me. Why is that? I scroll down, 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 and it says message, session not created. This version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 87. Now let's break this down bit by bit. Let's understand this error message. This version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 87. So when you are working with Selenium, we actually have three pieces here. The first is Selenium. It's browser automation software. And on the other side of this, we have Chrome, Chrome being a web browser. Uh, this works, you know, Selenium can control any sort of browser, but in this case, we're talking specifically about Chrome. Now, you might think that Selenium just reaches out and it grabs Chrome and it tells Chrome what to do, but there's actually a piece that comes in between this, and it's called the web driver. And the web driver is the thing that tells Selenium how to specifically control Chrome. So it kind of explains Chrome to Selenium or explain Selenium to Chrome, whichever way you want to think about it. And specifically, the web driver for Chrome is called the Chrome driver, obviously. So if you don't have a web driver or if you don't have a Chrome driver, Selenium is confused about how to talk to Chrome. And so what we need to do when you first install Selenium is you install a Chrome driver and that allows Selenium to talk to Chrome and everything's fine and perfect. The issue is that as Chrome is upgraded, Chrome evolves, Chrome changes, the way that Selenium needs to talk to Chrome also changes. And as a result, every time you update Chrome, there's a chance that you also need to update Chrome driver in order to have Selenium talk differently when it's trying to control Chrome. So if we look at this, I have a Chrome driver on my computer, but it only supports Chrome version 87. And you say, well, what version of, you know, Fire, or what version of uh, Chrome do I have? So I say, hey, Chrome, about Chrome, and I look at it, and I say, oh, version 96, version 96, terrible. Now, if you have automatic updates turned on for Chrome, it'll just automatically update. So if you have, let's say I download the version of Chrome driver for 96, Chrome 96, if Chrome automatically updates to 97, I'm going to be in trouble. Additionally, it's really a pain to upgrade Chrome driver. Um, it's not just a one-click thing. You have to check the version of Chrome you use. You have to go to this incredibly, I mean, it used to be uglier. Now it's a little bit more attractive. Uh, you go to this fine web page. Uh, you click the download button. It downloads, and then you have to move it to special places on your computer. Just downloading Chrome driver is a pain, and I don't want to have to do it. And it turns out that I don't have to do it. Um, there's a piece of software called Web Driver Manager, which will actually do it for me. It will automatically manage my Chrome driver to make it match the version of Chrome that I have on my machine. So how does it work? Well, you are gonna Google Web Driver Manager. You're gonna jump in here and you're gonna be so excited. And you're gonna go to the first result here and it's not gonna work for you because it's specifically for JavaScript, it's, it's for Node. And you say, okay, okay, well, what about this second one here? What about this second result here? Web Driver Manager, same thing, gonna be great. You open it, you start reading it, oh, it's great. And oh, this is specifically the Java library. It's not for Python, it's not gonna work for you. And then you keep scrolling down and scrolling down and finally, finally, this third result here is Web Driver Manager uh, for Python. And you know, the, the description of it's fine. It walks you through how to do it. Um, 
Let's install WebDriver Manager. Pip install WebDriver Manager. We can do it right here inside of our Jupyter Notebook, no problem. Just exclamation mark, pip install WebDriver Manager, shift enter, runs it. Spoiler alert, I already have it installed, so I don't actually have to have to do this. We're gonna run all of our imports again. Um, the one import that uh, you know I had on here before because I already have a Chrome Driver Manager on here, but I'm saying, hey, Web Driver Manager, uh, please import the thing we will use to manage our uh, Chrome Driver. If you look at the documentation, it says this is what you need to do in order to open up a new Chrome. So I'm just gonna cut and paste this. And instead of me saying, hey driver, let's just make a new Chrome. I'm instead going to say, hey web driver, let's make a new Chrome. And I need you to find out which version of Chrome it is. I need you to install the right Chrome driver, shift enter. Web driver manager, it's gonna talk a little bit. It's gonna say, hey, you know, oh, it looks like here's the version of Chrome that you have. Oh, we're gonna download the Chrome driver for it. I'm gonna go out on the web and I'm gonna find the exact space that uh, that Chrome driver is sitting at. And then I'm gonna launch my Chrome. Um, and there it is sitting right here. Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. I can go, you know, somewhere on the internet, get, I don't know, where, where do we go on the internet? NewYorkTimes.com? Sure, why not? And then because I have the right web driver manager installed, uh, it's just going to work perfectly. So from here on out, instead of manually downloading Chrome driver, every time you update Chrome, just use web driver manager, just use this code here in order to pull the most recent or the most appropriate version of uh, Chrome driver to match up Selenium with the version of Chrome that you have on your machine. And if you're a good person and you don't use Chrome and you use, you know, Chromium, Firefox, something like that, uh, you know, just copy and paste this code here and it'll work just fine for you. So welcome to a magic utopia where you never have to visit the Chrome driver page again, never have to screw with your path again, never have to download that again, never have to check your version of Chrome again. Enjoy it.